I was told it was an overhaul. Like, we were told it's a plane helicopter overhaul. It's a, fly it's a flying overhaul. I yeah. guess the mechanics of flying have changed. But now also, apparently, <laughs> planes and helicopters explode on impact. But what does that mean? I don't know. We're going to have to see, bro. It says... Planes and helicopters now explode on impact. I'm going in. What plane do I get? Should I just I'm just gonna get biplane, I guess. I'm in as well. I'm just gonna grab the biplane. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's already now. Oh wow, you can around and around. <gasps> that could be really useful for fighting. You can shoot! What the hell? You can shoot different directions now. Shut up. What's this? What the hell is this thing? Bro, look at this. Whoa. So while you're flying, oh my god, we can shoot different directions. Bro, there's a green cube out here. This is a game changer. Bro, look at this thing. There's a red one over here. Why don't you gonna do some kind of like live event? Bro, I can shoot you Dude. without even having to look at you. There's a red one over here. Can you light up on me? I don't know. Okay. Where are you? Let's try this impact zone. I'm gonna jump out. Is it gonna explode? It does! What does? The plane explodes if you jump out. Mid-air. You have to land it. If you want to save it, you have to land it. So if I jump out, here I'm. Uh, where's my base? I want to go closer to my base so I can grab another vehicle. It definitely handles differently. I feel like actually uh, there's it's better control. So if I bail, it blows up. So you have to be in it, you have to land it, you have to be in it when you land it, you can't like just let it go, or you lose it. <gasps> That's a bit of a game changer too. Because like, the then people aren't going to drop on you, kill you, and then fly away. Because they, if they do, they're going to lose their, their, uh, their vehicle. Right? Yeah. What is up with these boxes? There's a pink one out here. Before we check those out, I'm gonna go to the helicopters. But the other, okay, so there is two, there's two big game changers. Well, there's actually three. The camera now goes 360 degrees. So you can see everything around you as you're flying. You can also shoot 360 degrees, which is a big game changer. And you have to land the vehicle while you're in it. It's the same with the helicopter. You don't have to right-click to look both ways anymore. You can constantly just look around. Oh, I got you. I got you. So it's, it's the same as a helicopter. So you have to be in it to land it. What the hell is with these glowing uh, cubes? I'm going to try and land on it. By the way, helicopter kind of turns. I'm on it. The helicopter kind of turns to I'm on it. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <gasps> it off. It's way higher than I think it is. Is it? It's super high up. Check out your chopper. My chopper. Ah! Water fight? Oh, yeah! Everything handles differently, which is nice. I like that much more. So the plane handles like the chopper now. You can you can look around. Yeah. You can look around 300. Is this different? This little beach area? You can look around 360 uh, degrees. It's the same with the jet. That's OP. 360. What about the shooting? Can you shoot 360 degrees as well? Yeah. Get the hell out of here. They also, bro, if you fall off the map, you can climb back on. There's beaches. That's the, that's what I said. Is that new? Is, is that's it, new. Is the beach thing new? So 
so you can now... What's it like with Bomber, do you think? So now the Millaheli... The Millaheli was kind of the most OP flying uh, vehicle in a way because you could you could fire 360 degrees. Yeah. Now you can do that with the planes as well. You can shoot 360 degrees or fire you know fire a missile 360 degrees. Correct. Yeah. That wasn't like that before. It makes me curious. What's it like with bomber? Oh my God! It's probably easier now. That's oh, terrifying. I th or is it easier? Is it easier? 360 degrees on all flying vehicles, not just the uh, Millaheli anymore. It's kind of difficult with the bomber, but I guess it takes takes getting used to. Like it's I'm way off because I'm used to the way you had to line it up before. What if I can still lock on? It's very difficult to. Uh, oh my god! Look at the flipping warthog. I think they got rid of the lock. This is a bug. I think they got look rid how freaking big it is. I can't see shit. That's something I need to fix. I can still lock on as well. You can? Yeah. You're not supposed to be able to? No, I can't. I can still lock on. I can look behind me to lock on. You weren't able to do that. You weren't able to do that before. Like, what's so if I you? just bail, this is gonna... Yeah, that's just gonna blow. That's a good idea. That makes sense. It does. And I'm happy they added that because that's something I've complained about before. So people can't really drop on you. Yeah. Let me try this board. Well, they can, but they won't have their vehicle. They yet. won't have... They'll lose their vehicle. They'll drop on you, and they'll lose their vehicle. Yeah, this is, wow, this is gigantic. They added suspension to the wheels as well, so it's easier to land. It kind of makes it difficult with the Warhog being so big. You know what they should do for the Warhog? They should zoom it out more. They should zoom out more, yeah. How is it landing perfectly if nobody's... Because, okay. You know what I'm saying? How is it? How is it landing? I found out something. How, just now. how is it landing perfectly if nobody's flying it? You, you know? can still <laughs> land. You just have to touch the ground. So deal with this. Yeah, you have to touch the ground with the wheels, and then jump out. But if it's going super fast and it hits something, it'll still blow up. So if it's rolling, oh. if it's rolling and it hits something, it'll blow up still. Like that. Yeah, you can land successfully as long as you don't run into anything. Which is pretty cool. The fact that any air vehicle can now fire 360 degrees is a game changer. Because you could go in a you could go in the vehicle's blind spot before. Remember that? Yeah. You like, can only fire at things that are in front of you. Well, there still is a blind spot. Like, I, there's a, there's a circle around the helicopter here. So if I'm underneath the helicopter, that's kind of like the blind spot, right? Say like, with the blade, it has a blind spot. It does have a blind spot, but before the blind spot was like massive. You know what I mean? But now that every air vehicle can fire 360 degrees, the blind spot is a lot smaller, which means that all, all the air vehicles have become more deadly. Even the default helicopter, I mean... It doesn't do as much damage, obviously, as some of the other vehicles, but the fact that you can fire 360 degrees, we can have some pretty sick uh, air battles now. Oh, fuck. You're gonna see a lot, like, we're gonna see very different air battles now. This is a classic dogfight. Yeah, like if a guy's behind you now, you can actually like defend yourself. Sick, man. So I guess, uh, in conclusion, the uh, overhaul to the uh, flying mechanics is pretty cool. I, I like it. Do you do you like it? Yeah, I love it. It's so much better now. Like I just landed. Look at that. The 360 degree firing on all vehicles is pretty cool. It's a real game changer. That's how people are gonna have to land if they want to go into battle. The exploding on impact, exactly. You can't. No longer are people gonna be like, because it used to be like there was a, quite often there'd be a guy in like a jet, 
just and he would fly. He would fly in. He would drop on you, kill you, then jump in his jet and fly off and do the same thing to someone else. That's not going to happen anymore. That's awesome. I mean, he can do it once, but then he's going to lose his vehicle. And the he's fact that you can't shoot out of your parachutes anymore makes it awesome. Like, look at this. Yeah, that's a game changer too. I'm not. I'm still not sure if I like that or not. I do. Because you should. Like, I mean, in, like people are going to land like that. Though. That's such a game changer. Like IRL, you would have you would be able to fire from your parachute. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure about that, but then at the same time, it is a bit OP because if someone like, because you would have people fly up really high, and then they would they would come down, and you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know, and, and and then you'd be dead, right? Like they'd snipe you from up above, right? So they, that's really like changed things as well. There's been a they've done a they've done a lot of things that have we don't, really changed yeah. the way the game is going to be played. It's like stuff that we didn't really think about, like us like us base battles players didn't really think about these kind of things. Although I did see a suggestion about planes falling and blowing up, but like the parachute firing, we didn't know we needed that, but apparently we did. Yeah.